So more than a year ago, I walked across America, if you will, and through um, the city, not at all, through the country roads, to come to this city of Champaign, Illinois. I wasn't exactly sure where God was leading me, but I knew he had a new place for me. And the goal, originally, as I started to understand where I was heading and what the destination end would be, was the goal was maybe I could put myself to work in my favorite secondary language on a college campus to provide myself a little bit of extra business and a little bit of extra lift to my life. Once I got here, what I found was that the people in poverty were sort of assaultive and sort of abusive. And as a result of that, I had a lot of things from my private suitcase that I had at the time often stolen and vandalized. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what happens to people who survive poverty and impoverishment. It was certainly never my intention and never my belief that I would ever be homeless. But what I know is that people who try to harm people, people who try to demoralize people, people who try to dehumanize people because they think they have to be more superior and over people, often fail American lives. They say, look at him, he's a failure now. The answer is no, I'm not. I just have changed my priorities quite a lot. You see, long ago, my priorities was faith, family, fitness, finance, and fellowship. And then my priorities changed because I expanded that to the eight areas of life balance for infinite happiness for me. What you choose to follow in your life that makes you happy is up to you. But what we'd like to communicate to American citizens and people who are visitors is that you don't have the right to tell anyone how to live. But the absolute abatement of the law, the absolute harassment of my face and my body is really immoral and incredibly illegal. At no time did anyone in this city have one right to take a set of shears to my beard. That beard, it took me a good year to grow. And now every time I lay down to sleep here outside of the campus, I'm being cut upon. But it was still happening when I was on campus, which is supposed to be about diversity. The truth is this whole city is supposed to be about diversity and loving kindness. According to them, they got their signs of no hate here all around town. But clearly that's not the truth. That might be true for educated people. That might be true for some moral people. But there's a lot of moral people and immoral people who that's not the truth for. And they feel they have the right to tell you and tell me how to live. They feel they have the right to come up to us and talk to us and say, God loves all people. God loves you. And all this bullshit they, they spew. And then they turn around in the night and they abuse you. They sexually assault you. And they ruin you. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about the liars across America. And the liar in America is not the person that chooses not to disclose private information to you that's none of your business. The liars of America are the people who gossip and choose you to harm. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about American society. And American society says that we have propriety and privacy. But the women and men of faith-based churches and Christendom have failed God. They have failed God because they produced an idea in their mind that they are somehow representing God when they abuse you and abuse me. They failed God because they felt they could be Lord over you and Lord over me. And the failure of them is literally an abuse of their community. It's a misuse of their power and it's totally a ridiculous acclaimment of every hour.